感觉的。
发生的危险呢，必须要是做出一些的这个的教导，以及是一些的信息上的一些的啊啊这个的啊啊泄露的。比如说是呢，我们要呃叫告诉日本啊、美国呀、啊、加拿大、欧洲啊这一些的国家，中国在那个的呃在各方面，比如说是经济上、信息上、军事上以及是情报上带来的一些的危险。People watching the broadcast today, this evening, in, in China uh, should understand one thing. The, one of the principal reasons we're in this terrible mess is that the elites of the world, the what I call the party of Davos, the World Economic Forum in Davos, uh, people in the city of London, you know, the Wall Street of Europe, people at Wall Street, people in corporate America and also in these international corporations, uh, many of these international organizations, they are literally in bed with and in business with the radical cadre of the CCP. And they're doing it because they're making lots of money. Thank where our rule of law funds that we've started basically from November from the press conference is to principally focus on the oppression of the Chinese people the lack of rule of law on the Chinese people mm -hmm. and how the radical cadre of the CCP have essentially enslaved the Chinese people mm -hmm. and that the rule of law is to both investigate, to tell the stories of, and to let the world know exactly what's going on with the oppression of the Chinese people and eventually hopefully for whistleblowers and others to be able to get visas, a whole package focused on the enslavement by, of the Chinese people by this radical cadre. The Committee on the Present Danger is actually to take a different direction and to talk about the information warfare, the economic warfare, and, and really the Chinese, the buildup of the Chinese military, which threatens potentially war in the South China Sea, in the East China Sea, in the Korean Peninsula, on Taiwan, and maybe even potentially further enslavement of the people of Hong Kong. 那么呢，他呢是这个的啊，当委委呢，他的角色呢是跟我们的这个法治基金呢是有点儿呃，是很大的不同的，因为我们是在一呃。去年两两千一八年十一月后呢，我们建立我们这个的法治基金会。那么其实呢，基金会呢主要是来到了，希望是更加的帮助我们中国的老百姓，他们的生活、他们的生命都被是这个的啊逼迫啊这个的迫害。那么中国的极端的政权的这一些的共产的集权分子，他们是让这个的中国的老百姓呢过着这个的奴隶一般的生活。所以我们是通过调查，让全世界的。人更加的了解到呢，现在中国发生的一些的故事，他们中国老百姓面对的一些的迫害，让呢一些的这个的爆料的人士也可以获得一些的，如果是逃出来的话，可以呢获得他们的签证啊，各方面的这一些的帮
uh, the presentation is, is broadcast on Glow Media uh, live. Uh, for the people in uh, the people in China to see. Mm-hmm. 那么当时我身在意大利那么但是我可以告诉大家是两星期后我将会是在华盛顿首府再一次的我们这个单委会有一个报告会他讲了很多给李根总统建议的关键的 the last couple of years and in respectively in New York and the DC leaders in our mission as well so that is why today it is a unforeseen opportunity for us 几乎绝大多数是骂普特朗普总统，更是绝大多数是恨拜登先生的。Let me discuss with uh, Mr. Bannon. Yes, you know, uh, in the last few days, and I have met with these five people uh, who are the members of uh, CPD. Now that, uh, and then also I met with the uh, Privy Council, ex- Executive Council of of uh, of the arms of the. They没有任何的关系。好。我们今天刚委会的事儿咱就不谈多了因为还有很多问题战友我都看到了很多问题那边也在整理回头我们再说我们现在谈第二个问题 For the matter of the Committee of Present Danger then we are put a full stop here today because we have a lot of other matters that we need to discuss 刚刚的很多战友我看到这个留言希望班农先生也是我们都在准备好的啊这个所谓的协议啊由贺副总理又来美国了这昨天和这个美国总统在白宫又见面了啊这回刘贺先生换位置了和川普总统平起平坐了啊这个而且据说是中方的强烈要求啊不能对面坐的像审判一样然后川普
now because that uh, we see that uh, Mr. Liu Pe came back to the White House yesterday. And then, in fact, that he was actually sitting together with um, Mr. Trump and then in the White House. And there's not even opposing, in the sitting at the opposite, opposite position. It's not like that they are negotiating anymore. It's like a very friendly, everybody's talking, everybody's laughing. It's a very uh, cordial um, uh, atmosphere. Now, but the thing is that, uh, but of course, that we understand that it might be a ridiculous joke because uh, in, the, in the past, that they were like stalling. Because they, I, I understand that Chinese government, they had a lot to of uh, seemingly um, uh, 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 information that uh, Mr. Trump will be impeached and then a lot of the trouble is going to be happening for him, for his family. That materials uh, to China. It, it's much deeper than that. It, it is about the structural changes to the Chinese economy that President Trump is trying to, 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 to do. And those are about forced technology transfers, about intellectual property rights. It's about state-owned industries. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what it is is to have a more equitable system on, on both sides, not just for the West, but also for the Chinese people. One of the things that's going on in China that's very evident is that the radical cadre of the CCP, and you can tell with, the, with what they're trying to do with liberty, they have suppressed liberty, right? And in suppressing liberty, they've done it by suppressing the rights of the Chinese people. Uh, you are essentially economic slaves to their to their uh, to their apparatus and that is why and one of the things I'm proudest of in rule of law fund and the work that Miles Kwok has done uh, Miles has shown how the uh, leaders uh, the radical uh, leaders of the CCP uh, are not communists at all right in fact they are uh, what I call state capitalists they take and extract as much money as much money from the people of, of China and what they do is they money launder it into the West. That's why there's so much real estate in New York City. The very city that we're sitting in today, you folks in China should understand, much of it is owned by the radical cadre of the CCP because they've laundered this money out. Miles's great investigation into H&A, you know, shows you that they've taken a regional airlines that was owned by the people, uh, partially owned by the people of Hanai, uh, the region where the airline came from. And now that's a trillion dollar company, we find out as Miles was able to show that 52% of it is owned by private, uh, these private foundations controlled by Wan Shishan, right? And so you have to ask how that happens. And it just gets to be a money laundering situation where they extract wealth from China and they money laundered into the West so they can put money here because they're, they're more comfortable that this is a safe economy and they can hide their money over here after essentially stealing it from the Chinese people. These negotiations, when you talk about the structural changes, and particularly the state-owned industries, is to make sure that you can actually, at the end of the day, unlock over the long term the economic value of China, but to have the ownership be with the Chinese people, not with the radical cadre of the CCP, so that Lady Liberty is not uh, enhanced by by a bunch of radical communists, but in fact is uh, is the Lady Statue of Liberty, the beautiful Statue of Liberty that we see right here in New York Harbor, a few miles from where the uh, Global Media Studios are in Midtown Manhattan. <laughs> 不是说是中国像我们在这个的在像我们的农业买更加多的这个大豆买更加多的这个的呃呃呃牛肉啊猪肉我们其实希望的不是要看到这样的一个的谈判我特朗普总统呢在早前呢已经是指出过了他希望看
老百姓的自由，也就是相等于他们夺去了中国老百姓在经济上的各种各样的权利，让中国的老百姓永远是成为这个的中国共产党少数集团集权极端人士的这个的奴隶。那么你看到呢？从前刚呃去年呃呃马尔斯呢郭先生呢？在展示出，啊，这通过他的很多的彻底的深入的调查，指出呢，这个的海航一个的地区上，海南地区的一个的老百姓拥有的一个的啊航空公司，竟然呢就是被呃这个的发展成为一个的。啊，国际的一个大的这个的财团，而且呢，当中是百分之五十二的这个的股权是由一些的私人是拥有在私人的手上，而且这一些的私人其实就是被这个的黄奇山所呃控制的。那么，其实他也就是等于指出呢，其实中国的少数的这一些共产党当中的集权的分子，他们并不是共产党员，也不是社会党员，他们其实是指一个的。国家的资本的主义者，他们剥削了中国老百姓的财富，中饱他们自己的这个的钱包，把钱拿到美国纽约来到进行洗钱。为什么要拿到美国来呢？因为这这我们是自由的这个的金融市场，他们可以把财富呢通过种种的这个的包装来到呢藏起来。那么，所以的话，他们是从老百姓的手上是盗盗，呃，这个的夺去了他们的财富，来到呢去呃，让他们自己拥有这个的个人的这一些的享受。那么，所以呢，我们希望是不可以容许这样的情况，我们要进行调查，我们不可以让是中国老百姓的自由是那样的被夺去的。呃，刚才半罗先。